Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to tell you how to mix henna into a paste and then I'm going to tell you how to apply it to your hair so that you can change the color of your hair naturally. I use henna in my hair and I've been doing it for years and I really enjoy it. It's a little bit messy and in fact it's so messy I'm going to warn you that I will be wearing my worst raggy clothes when I apply the henna to my hair. So when you're going to henna your hair, the first thing you want to do is set everything up that you need. Sometimes I do this in the shower actually, but today we're not going to do it in the shower. I'm going to do it right at the sink. I'm not going to show you everything that I do because it's, it's not that important for you to see it. So I'm just going to show you the ingredients that I use, the tools that you need to have at hand, and then how to mix the henna. As a best practice with henna, because it's very messy, I like to put everything that I'm going to need easily at hand so that I can apply the henna, which is very messy, right away after I wash my hair. And I'm going to wash my hair today at the kitchen sink and I need to therefore have nearby shampoo and conditioner, a towel to towel dry my hair. I use some old towels. These are clean but old towels. So first of all, I wrap the towel around my neck and second of all, then I'll use it to just slightly towel dry my hair to keep the excess water out before I put the henna in my hair. And I need to have nearby the henna, a container to mix the henna in, a source of warm water, which the sink provides, and a shower cap and a bathing cap that I apply to my hair after I have put the henna in my hair. This henna I bought online, but you can see from the outside, you can see the packaging. It's called Niha. It's from India and the same henna that is used to paint henna on your skin is the same henna that you can use in your hair. This is red henna. The ingredient is henna powder because the typical henna is red henna. I used to buy my henna in Syrian grocery stores and then they had red henna and black henna but this is red henna which I like to use and it gives you some nice highlights in your hair when it's sunny. So the first thing to do is to know how much henna to use. My hair is very dark as you have seen and so I use about probably a half a cup of henna and I will show you how I pour it in and you're going to put it in the container and add warm water. So this is about how much henna I put in here in this pint size hummus container. I have about a quarter inch all the way around. It doesn't matter. You could put more in, you could put less in it. It really doesn't matter very much. If you have very light colored hair, you will want to test how the henna reacts with your hair before you put it all over your head because it takes people different amount of time to henna their hair. So these instructions are, that I'm giving you are really for somebody with dark hair. If you have dark hair, the easiest thing to do is mix up the henna with warm water into a paste in this cup. So I'm going to add very little warm water until I get a paste in here. And then I'm going to put the paste into my hair and I'm going to massage it into my hair everywhere that I want the henna to appear and then I cap it overnight with the bathing cap and the shower cap and I sleep overnight with that. And then for me, you know, an overnight five hours, six hours, even eight hours is fine for somebody with dark hair. If you had all white hair, I would test it first, but you could probably do this in just a couple of hours if you have white hair. And if you have other colored hair, I would just test it out. Try it for a couple of hours on a little strand and see how that does. For me, I've been doing this for years, so I would say for dark hair, no problem. Just 
put it on. Sometimes I do it only for four hours, but mostly I do it overnight because it's the easiest thing. Okay, so this, this water is getting warm. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of warm water to the henna. Okay, so just about like that. I really didn't add very much at all. And I'm going to let that sit right now. I'm not going to mix it up. Normally I would mix it right away and use it, but because I haven't washed my hair yet, I'm going to wash my hair, which you don't really have to see. And then I'm going to mix it up and then I'm going to put it in my hair. Okay, so I just washed my hair. You can see it's a little wet here. And I toweled it lightly and now I'm ready to mix my henna up. And as I said, I'm going to use my fingers, so I'm just going to throw my fingers into that pot and make a paste. And you can, I don't know if you can see the dry spots in there. There are a few dry spots. But you make sure that you mix up all the powder, all the dry powder, into a paste. If you need to add a little more water, you do. If, you, if it is a little more watery than this is, this is pretty pasty then it's still okay. You can still use it. You'll just want to make sure that you catch the drips when you're walking around, if you have to walk around. Okay, so that's it. That's my little paste, and that's I'm just going to rub it into my scalp and put on my caps, and I will be washing it out in the morning. So, when you apply the henna to your hair, it's, it's a paste. So it's very similar to shampooing your hair. You're going to rub it into your hair. You're going to massage it into your hair everywhere that you want the henna to be applied. So you put it into the roots, you put it into your temples, the front of your hair, the back of your hair, the tips of your hair. You simply massage the henna all over your hair and the henna being a paste will help your hair just stay up normally and then when you're done massaging it in, and it doesn't take that long to do that, you just simply massage it in on everywhere that you want it applied. You put on the shower cap and the bathing cap and that will hold everything in place for the henna to work and apply to your hair uh, over the hours that you keep it in your hair. I think that's all you need to know. Let me review for you what I've done and then I'm going to say good night to this video. So th to review, so you have your shampoo, your conditioner, your your shower cap and your bathing cap just in case. Place to wash your hair, you washed your hair. Towel, I have two extra towels just in case. Washed my hair and I toweled it dry. I took my henna, mixed it with water in advance, stirred it up in here into a paste and now I'm going to put the paste in my hair. Put the caps on my head and towels on my pillow, go to sleep. When I wake up in the morning, I'm just going to wash my hair and that'll be that. I'm sure you noticed that the henna was not red, the paste that we put together to put in the hair. It was actually green. Well, that's usually the color of red henna. It's a greenish color and it makes a green paste. It has an herbal smell and when you put it on your hair, it is green. And when it's mixed with water, it ends up being orange. There's sort of an orangey tint that comes out as you sleep. And I just rinse it down the sink. It's just an herbal powder. So I just rinse it down the sink. And so it's a pretty easy cleanup, even though it can get all over the place if you're doing in the shower. All right, that's about all for now. Okay. Time to get up. So what do you think? Looks pretty nice, huh? I just adjusted it today and um, it's got these nice red highlights in it. I like it. I, it's, it's hard to see, obviously, on the video, but hope you like it. I like it and I hope you have fun doing your own henna on your own hair. <laughs>